Hello, good evening. Jensi, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm, I'm fine. Ah, uh, good. Okay. It's almost That's Friday. <laughs> it's uh, almost. Not almost. Yeah. So, ah. How was? How was your day? Monday one. <laughs> fine, teacher, but um, the Thursday is always difficult to me because it's the only day that I get a little rest from my daily routine because I I am really keep quickly in the day. For example, I, I wake up at 4.30 or 5 a.m. I am at work at 6, 6.30 and I return to my house mm -hmm. at 7 30 p.m. But today I go I came early. Okay, that's great. Look, we say it like this. I get some rest from my daily routine. I get some rest from my daily routine. Okay, just let me take something. Okay, yeah, so Friday for you is better. Yes, because I, I, I don't know what happened with my mind because I'm relaxed, I'm not, I'm not running with the um, daily work. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Friday. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Are interesting to me. What for me? I quite get you. Si le comprendo. Well, for me, let's see. If Friday. How are Fridays? Fridays are like, uh, you know. Let's see, Fridays are a heavy day for me. Usually it's a heavy day. And Saturday, hmm, Saturday is a little bit stressful. I got a, I got a dish, I got a dry bar. Let me see, let me finish a class. I mean, driving, it takes me more than an hour and a half. As the hora y media manejando. Because I live in San Martin and I have to drive all the way to uh, San Jose Villanueva. <gasps> it's too far. Yeah, I go to, to, uh, to a neighborhood called La Hacienda. Mm. So I go I... there, I teach a class like for three hours, it's just one student. And then, Just for one. yes, and then I come back to San Salvador to teach another class. And then I come home. And let's see, this Saturday, when I come home, I have to do fix some things, um, some electrical stuff. And then Sunday, I also have to work. So mm, let's see, which day is good for me? Sunday. <laughs> well, usually I work on Sundays also. Oh my God. Sometimes it depends on my students. Sometimes I teach uh, Sunday morning and sometimes I have to teach Sunday afternoon. No, you need to have one day so for I you. Teach, <laughs> I teach usually 
Sunday is from, if I teach in the afternoon, that's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I can work on Sunday, teacher. <laughs> And if, no, and even if I um have class on Sunday, I can't. I can't. Oh. I try to learn English um on the week on weekends, but I couldn't. Oh really? Um, Sunday my brain is off, 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 off. Yeah. Well, actually this these courses, uh, they used to be uh, just on, on uh, I mean, you have to be in there, and on presencial, it's on Saturdays and Sundays. Mm, no. <laughs> I try to learn. I, I, this is my oral um, intent. How do you say? Try. Try. Uh, for learn English because I never I never end the course the course because um uh, once we can uh, sell, we can, sell we no can fail fail and later when I start to work when I start uh, when I, I start working when I start working I try to learn at morning from 6 a.m. to 8, mm -hmm. but I have to run. I had to, I have to run, or I had running. I had to run. I had to run for, came on time to my work. To get on time. Oh, <laughs> to yeah. get on time on my work. Yeah, that happens, and, that happens. And it was difficult. Yes, because I, I I was more tired because I have to take two buses buses yeah or three and at that time it was so full yeah was so full yeah, and yeah I mean it was it was rush hour a rush hour it was rush hour and on as horas pico uh huh. And I just started six months. <laughs> oh, well, that, try. Well, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for me, starting that early in the morning wouldn't work. Not for me. I mean, that early in the morning, my brain is still not working properly. <laughs> I can, but later at work, uh, at, at afternoon, I was so tired yeah, can you imagine? and the coffee didn't work well actually i take coffee for sleeping my dear i mean i get, really? a, cup of, I get a cup of coffee around midnight and then i go to sleep <gasps> not just that's it's not the it doesn't oh, the correct use yeah it's perfect for me it's relaxing <laughs> Well, Jensi, welcome to the class. Nice. Thanks, teacher. To you. Thanks. Let's see. Hey, William, how are you? Good evening, teacher. That's my. How's everything? Talking about coffee, teacher. Right now, I'm having delicious coffee with Brian. Oh, really? You're having a cup of coffee right now? Yes. How do you say me regalaron, teacher? Mm, well, it depends. You can say it different ways. Uh, you can say it was a present. It was a present, what? Que sabía. It was a present, what? Que sabía. Igual oh. que sabía. Delicio. Very delicio. Um, you know, I don't like quesadillas. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Yeah, I mean, quesadillas for me are like, uh, no. After the quesadillas, teacher, este, I rest two hours during the afternoon. In my case, I love my coffee alone. I mean, I don't like to eat a pastry with, coffee, with a cup of coffee. I mean, for me, I can have a sweet bread. Oh, no, don't do that, uh, Roxanne. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, for me is, I'm sorry, for me is disgusting when some people do that to, to put the bread into the coffee. Oh, terrible. I cannot even imagine that. Richard. It's like, uh, How do you say por eso? That's why. That's why my day, uh, my day was great. That's cool, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Hate you, Roxana. <laughs> oh, she's mean, she's mean. So William, you enjoy your coffee and your piece of bread. You know, actually I like, uh, I like to eat sweet bread, of course. I'm not the pan dulce, but I eat it uh, with water. Not no, with never. <laughs> no, for me it's with water, not with coffee, I mean. Coffee, and more coffee, more coffee. For me it's just the coffee alone, that's it. Well, William, it's good to have you here in class. Today. Every Actually, day. We're going to talk about food. Today we're going to be talking uh, again about food a little bit. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cha. Let's see who else do I have around. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Didn't see you yesterday. Where were you? Sorry, teacher, but uh, yesterday I didn't feel, feel good. And oh, I so have, sorry to hear that. I had a lot of pain and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no problem, but you are here today. That's yes. That's important. That's great. That's great. Are you feeling better? Yes, I'm, I'm feeling better. Better okay. than yesterday. How many days do you, start, do you still have left? of your leave of absence? Uh, the next Tuesday, uh, um, I'm come back to my work. Oh, really? Yes. I'm, I'm coming back. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm, back. I'm going back. I'm going back to, to my work, work. yes. Oh. Yes. Well, take advantage of the few days you still have, rest, okay? Exactly. Rest. Right. Yes. As much as possible. So today was a good day for you then. Yes, Spain, it was a good day. Less pain, more comfortable. Are you taking yes. your medicines? Yes, I take my medicines. I feel better. Okay, that's great. That's great. So happy to have you here. I was worried. Thank you, teacher. Uh, thank you for being here and all the effort you're doing. Thank you, Ambar, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you. Roxana, hello. How are you? You are so... Hi, teacher. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Why? I will do... In, I, I will... You invite her to drink a I coffee? I will invite you. I will invite you to drink some coffee and sweet bread. Uh, I can do it. I can do it, but not like the way you say it. You show it. But when you say that you prefer a sweet bread with water. Yeah. You do this. No, no. <laughs> yes. No, no, that's unacceptable for me. Why? It's like it's... um, um traditional to the Salvadorian people. Semita, chichuponia. <laughs> no, that's unacceptable. I cannot do that. I mean, why, I... teacher? <laughs> it's. I remember that uh, when I was a child. Uh, my grandma had has has the niece, had, 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 had had another uh, house and she always uh, doing tortillas in uh -huh. in a in, in un comal yes sure. okay and I remember that uh, when I went 
uh, she bought some sweet bread, but uh, I don't remember the name. It's like a little donuts with a red color and beige color. I don't remember. It's like a, como en espiral, no sé. But she, oh, I was a child, so I can't, Ooh, I could. Yeah. A long while ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And you still remember? Wow. Yeah, I, I, I was maybe six years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You were a little kid at that time. Yes. And I remember that when she, when she does, uh, Bill. When, she when, used to do, when she used when to do she used to do uh, tortillas always in the afternoon uh, she uh, gave me me daba, gave me gave me uh, the sweet bread with a glass of water and in this part of the house uh, it was like um Commune, co común, eh, patio, era como un patio común. Yeah. And eh, there was, um, there were a lot of kids like me. So all the time in the afternoon, eh, take our glass of water and do this with, with our <laughs> sweet with bread. bread. Yeah. And eh, I remember that. And when I, cuando yo podía, no, cuando, no. Oh, now, when I can drink coffee, sometimes if I want, I do it. Yeah. Not in front of me, please. <laughs> I wouldn't stand it. I, I will run away. No, I won't run away. I just, I'm just going to avoid looking at you. Okay. That, uh, I mean, I don't know. Something's wrong with me, but I cannot stand watching. Yeah, you are not Salvadorian people, teacher. Uh, that could be, that could be. Hey, Roxana, how are you? How was your day? I think that it was okay. I was a lot of uh, things to do in my work, meetings and some emails, but everything is okay. It's not closing for me now. Okay. Maybe... Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, you said that sentence. You said, I will... You told me that you were going to invite me for a cup of coffee. The expression, look in the chat. You can say, I will invite you for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. That's in general. If you are going to invite me to a restaurant or to a cafeteria, you, you say, I will take you for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And if you say, I will invite you over for a cup of coffee, that means to your house or to your workplace where you oh, are. Okay. okay. Where you are when you are talking. Hey, I will invite you over. Can you come over? That means to the place I am right now. Okay. Okay. Just thank you. Keep it in mind. Okay. So there's no closing for you this right now, this week. No. It, my closing is in the first week of the month. And okay. now I just uh, doing some tests, Revas, about it, about some change in the system or uh, synchronizaciones. How do you say that? Synchronizing. Synchronizing, and that's it. But this week it maybe is easy. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah. cool, that's cool. And I try to don't die. To what? I try to don't die. Not to die. Not, not die. Not to die. Uh -huh. Yeah, or not dying. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see. Hold on a second, please. I'm sorry, and I have a, one of your classmates having problems connecting to the class. Let's see. Okay. That's
Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Well, thank you, Roxana. So sorry to, 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 to stop you, but uh, no problem. not a problem. One of your classmates got a problem, and we are trying to solve it. Okay. Because it's it's a weird one. It appears to her is pretty weird. I mean, it's not quite common. But I'm trying to report it, and it's a problem. Besides the sign out today is like acting up. You are blocking the student. Yeah, well, no, the connection is not like quite good today. I don't know why. Perhaps the weather. The mood, teacher. The mood. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you, Roxana. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Let's see who else around. Hey, Susana, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, fan. I I working <laughs> always. <laughs> you are working well. That's the way it goes for all of us. Yes, teacher. I don't know. <laughs> any more? How do you say any more? Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, that happens. That happens. And tell me, how was your day? Um, in I, I haven't um meeting to meeting. Yeah, I, I check, I check to work. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. The same routine, the routine. And my routine is um, in, in a day, mm -hmm. in regular day. Yeah, on um, a regular day. In regular day. Uh, I can uh, make up um levantarse my cake papa. How do you say levantarse? <laughs> get up. Get up. Get up. Um I find I find yam and next uh, I take a shower um uh, is the day what when I I present in 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 my work, uh, but, oh, but uh, you also work from home, right? Yes, uh, yes, uh, is day yes uh, or some day notes. Uh, it's a it's a uh, sometimes uh, presential work. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And regular is a uh, uh, homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you, Susana. Very interesting. Welcome to the class. Uh, thank you, teacher. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Wilfredo, hello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you? That's not the usual spot. But it, it, uh, this day, this week, teacher, I, I have many trouble to get connection with my, my, my laptop. That's why I, I was, I was trying to get connection with my cell phone, but today it's Harder. is working oh that's nice yeah well, happy to hear that but i i don't know what happened with, with well 
connection I, it's I, it's a little bit unstable you know like yeah, but... look i i am connected i am connected with cable directly to the to the to the router and i still got uh, sometimes the the signal fluctuates so you know the way there the companies the providers the internet providers everything affects but uh, we are here teacher try to learn a little a little new vocabulary or, or some new word to improve my my english and what about you teacher me well today is thursday let's see a lot of activities uh, working i've been up i've been up and around since 6 a.m and then I have to come, and you know I'm also the the designated designated driver for my house. So okay. take me here, take me there. Go drop me to the gym. Go pick me up to the gym. Then I do the same for my son. So uh, terrible then to prepare the. To, I always check the material for the class previously before the class. So then I came to check the material, then I went out again. And then I came back and around 730 I was eating a little something. And you know, same old story, busy all the time. Very busy teacher, very busy. Yeah, but the problem right now is that I need my son to get here. He's driving license so he can just take the, the car and okay. that would be easier for me. Um, yeah, because that teacher. way, I mean, the way he he gets his car, he goes do his thing and and I'm not worried. I mean, I, I can do my own schedule, but right now I um, have to play with my schedule and his schedule and everybody's schedule. So it's complex. Teacher. Um, you work at home or you go to the workplace? I go. I'm going to my workplace. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, that's why to, that's to... why I tell you I have to drive. I mean, the problem is this that I yeah. have to drive one car and then come here. And sometimes I if they want to go somewhere else, they want to go in the other car. I mean, uh, it's stressful. It is stressful and dry over there. Yeah, I understand the teacher. But how do you say gaje del oficio? I, I, I don't remember. Um, hazard? Hazard, occupational hazard. Ah, see, you got it. <laughs> Sometime my job teacher, I, I told to a co worker uh, when, when they told me, hey man, I. I am stressful. I have to do any any activity, yeah, but um, they sometimes they check the hour yeah, and, and told me, yeah, but it's late, but I didn't finish. Yeah, hey, take it easy. Occupational hazard, huh? <laughs> I I told them, I told them what I mean in English, but uh, in Spanish, sorry, but. Uh, our job, our job teacher in, in my company, it is stressful every, every, every day because uh, it is it is common when the boss asks you for, for about or they need some information. Hey, but I, I need I need this information now, man. Uh, you have to do it. But hey, but you just told me. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you already have your 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 daily plan and those requirements affect your plan i mean because you have to do that and whatever else you have already prepared for the day yeah and that happens that happens well thank you wilfredo interesting welcome to chair let's see guys before we move on as usual it's time for me to get the attendance Let's see, today is the 26th. 
let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, I'm Barili Alfaro Gomez. Presente. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Hey, thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Oh, right. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Fernando. Don't worry. I already got you. Let's Thank you. See. No problem. No problem, my friend. Let's see, just let me check. Okie dokie. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Oh. Hey, Janira, how are you? Hi, teacher. Who's going? How are you? How's everything? Well, I have a, a lot of work, but I'm okay. I'm happy That's because normal. I have. Uh, yeah, it's normal, but I like it. Really like it. And cool. well, he's raining. I'm happy because maybe this night was it will be fresh. Oh, and yeah, sure. I'm thinking, and I'm thinking in a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee in this morning. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I need it actually uh, injected. Yeah, I need uh, a little bit adrenaline. Yeah, me too, me too. I mean, at this time of the day, I need at least one cup of coffee. I mean, hey, teacher, I, you look so stressfully. Not really, you know, it's just a normal day. It's just my eyes. My eyes are tired. That's the only thing of being working on the computer. Okay. Tired of oh, the verno. Of course. No, no, no. <laughs> working on the computer. You know, the brightness and, and the other Only you and me, that, <laughs> The other problem is that I. I got two pairs of glasses, and the other ones are the ones that I use during the day, but I forgot them today. Oh, you can. So, too bad. much light, too much light, so it affects me right now. My eyes are like burning a little bit. Yeah. The kind of the bright, 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 
I, I forget the, the word for bio. Brightness. Bio. Brightness. Brightness. Down the brightness. Well, actually, it's set for for night light. But I still remember I was also driving. I, I just um, see zero. The, in level zero. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> because the brightness is bad. Yeah. That, I mean, it affects a little bit. It affects. But what can we do? I mean, tomorrow perhaps I won't forget my glasses. Oh, yeah. The other glasses. But, you know, sometimes I forget the glasses, sometimes I forget my, 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 uh, my, Pelula. No, it's an orthesis. Yeah, like the perula. Sometimes I forget it. And like today I didn't, I forgot it. So my, my, my fingers are like a little bit numb. I, I remember that you uh, told Told us that your family says about you that you don't forget your health because you put in your neck <laughs> yeah. in the yeah, first or second class. You you say this. Yeah, I don't I don't forget my health because it's attached to my neck. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> but you know what? I never never forget this. What is this? I I can see. Okay. Ah, your cell phone. Yes, never. Sure. Well, yes. me too. <laughs> me neither, me neither. Yes, Wilfredo? Me neither. What about your hand? It is okay? Well, you know, a little bit. Uh, I got a little problem here. The bone didn't, didn't set up properly. Really? Yeah, and I don't have all the movements. Like, you look, this hand goes all the way. This yeah. one doesn't. And going up, this hand goes all the way. This one doesn't. I mean, this is all. In my right hand, teacher, I, I had a trouble like you. Yeah. And, but and I, this one, look, I, this one goes yeah. all the way down. This one doesn't. That's I all. Can, I can see the difference. And going up, that's all. And in the other one, I can do this. In this one, I can. This is all. So it will take time. Yeah. I had a, a, a trouble when I was um, 20 years old. I I was practicing karate, and I I how do you say a, a hit? Yeah. When when yeah, in, in in a fighting, I I I I got a, a hit another. Uh, opponent, how oh, do you say in English? I punch, I punch. I punch, ah, okay. And you broke and, it? And I, and I almost broke my hand. Almost, almost, but I, I was very, I, I remember three months and I, I didn't, I no podía. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't move, move. my hand. I couldn't yeah. move, move my hand. Yeah, that's a problem for me. Like I cannot ride a motorcycle. I cannot do it, and I don't have a strength. Yeah. In the first, I mean, uh, they they put me to make exercise. The therapist makes me to do exercise with a little weight like this of three or four pounds, and mm -hmm. believe me. Levantar una pesa de cuatro libras is very, very hard with this hand. Yeah, I, I, I understand. That. Teacher, have you, have you tried with, with a, a little ball? Well, actually, I am undergoing therapy. Yeah. Yeah, I it, mean, it, I, it is I, good. I am undergoing therapy right now. I, I still got like yeah. six more sessions with the therapist. Okay. You are going to, 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 to get it. Recovering your, your motion in your hand, teacher. Yeah, because if not, people will say that we are defective, you know. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, welcome, Wilfredo. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Fernando, how's everything? Hi, teacher. Everything I got a, is fine. I got a question for you, Fernando. Tell me. I need you to help to explain me. Uh, do you like? Do you prefer coffee on your own? Coffee, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, but only instant. Instant. Instant coffee. Instant coffee. Yes. Oh, okay. You know what? Today we are talking about procedures. Okay. Okay. And procedures are always important. You know, like uh, when you prepare a cup of coffee, what do you do first? Uh, I put I put water on the kitchen. <laughs> I put water on the kitchen for to boil. To boil. Yes, and then I wait. I wait the water. The water boil. I wait for the water to boil. I wait for the water to boil, and then. Okay, now I, tell me, tell me, do you place first the instant coffee and then the water, or first the water and then the coffee? First the instant coffee and sugar, and then the water. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, uh, every day I I I did coffee. I do. For me, I do. Okay. okay I, I do coffee for me in the morning, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, the coffee is <laughs> my dream daily basis. Okay, very well. Interesting. Yep. Now, let's see. Let's see. We are talking about procedures. Thank you very much, Fernando. I will come back to you. Okay, let's you. see. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Are you around? Yes, teacher, sorry. Hi. Hello, Daniel, how are you? Okay, Daniel, I got a weird question for you. Yeah. I need you to explain me. In which order do you do you put your, your socks and your shoes? Imagine that you're getting ready to, to go out in the morning. You are getting dressed, yeah. okay? And you got you got your pants, yeah. you got your shirt, but now okay, comes yeah, the right. moment for the socks and the shoes. What do you do? Uh, tell me the process. What do you do? What which order do you follow? Can you repeat please the internet have a little trouble? Okay, imagine that you are getting ready to go to work in the morning, okay? Okay. Okay, now, uh, you are getting dressed. I need you to tell me, in which order do you put your socks and your shoes? What do you do? Okay. First socks, both socks, and then both shoes, or one sock, one shoe. That's what I want you to explain me. Okay. Uh, first, I put uh, both socks, and then I put both shoes. Okay. Now tell me, which sock do you put first, right or left? Never usually it. right. Okay, usually the right one, the right one. Yeah, the right one. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, Daniel, I got a more uh, complex question for you. I need you to explain okay. me in in few sentences, like in four or five sentences. What are the first steps? you follow to design a new project? Okay. At uh, first, uh, we need to look at the archi uh -huh. architectural plans to yes. see how 
the architect distribute columns, then we model well, well we make we made a model at a program and we load the model. When all is set, we see the results of the program and see if the dimension that the architect uh, wants can are some some be a posture are viable are viable yeah and if it's not are viable we made a new design and then tell to the architect that the columns were too small so we made it big because it's well the most important thing about a building is that it won't sell off in a earthquake okay so perfect. usually they yeah. understand that okay and the same happened with the beams and then we draw the plants the structural plants thank you very much daniel perfect that's what i wanted thank to you. hear sylvia hello sylvia how are you Hello, teacher. How are you, Sylvia? How's everything? I'm good, thank you. Okay, Sylvia, uh, I got a question for you. Tell me, what's the procedure that you follow to register a guest in your workplace? To register, okay. Um, a, a, a customer or a, a, a customer, right? I guess. I guess. Okay. Um, in the morning, we send a link, and the person have to fill out the information online, and then they have to send send it to to us, send it uh, to the front desk, but it's online. Then. Uh, at 3 p.m., they go to the reception, and we give and we we give the cost the customer the information um, about the stay. Those are like uh, some important information because we have to let them know about our restaurant hours, uh, what time uh, is and until what time the pool is open then they have to pay for the room in the front desk and after that uh, we give the key to the customer and then we bring the, the customer to the room that's the the procedure that we follow okay excellent that's exactly what I needed, the procedure. That's the check-in or the registering of the person, right? Yes, that's it. Okay, that's excellent. the procedure. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see. Uh, Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. Look, Maria Alejandra, I I am a customer, I'm a client of for you. So I called you. I have a problem, and that problem could not be solved by you. <laughs> okay. You couldn't solve it. Okay. Tell me what's the procedure that you follow in those situations when you are not able to solve the problem of the client. In my company. Yep. Okay, when I couldn't help our, the sellers, um, I sent a message uh, of my box. Okay. And the seller explained 
Eh, eh, the situation and it's play when I, uh, the reason for the reason for I not uh, I not have a reason. <laughs> The and I why, couldn't help. Ah, the, the reason, reason why I was not able to help. I the reason why I wasn't I able wasn't to help. help able, able to, help. to help. Able to help. And then uh, my boss have a uh, answer and explained that uh, my reason is okay or no or have a different alternative to, to the sailor for the, the la venta, I don't know. Okay. For the example, uh, um, for the sales and only that. And my boss say no, the case closed and my, um, my boss have a other decision or the other opinion, uh, explain and me only have a instruction and in waiting for the sellers acate or follows. maybe uh -huh, follows and only okay. that. <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> You're good. Okay, Francisco Eduardo. Hey, Francisco. Are you around? Sure. Hello, Francisco. Yeah. Okay, Francisco, I got a case for you. Let's see. You know what? I am driving a big truck uh, and I'm going to pass customs. Okay? okay. And and I got a big container. Okay, and when you and when I pass the the container by the X-ray, and you are in charge of the X-ray, you detect that something is amiss. Something is not correct. There's a little problem. You see on the x-ray that there's a weird object. What do you do? What procedure do you follow in those situations? Okay, teacher. Uh, in the case is uh, the is uh, a person inside of uh, a car. Uh, we stop the x-ray emission and Uh, how do you say uh, bajamos a la persona, teacher? Okay, take the person down from the car. Down from the down from the car, okay. And we have uh, we we make a incident report. An incident in, report. Incident report. In the case is a, a person or or uh, or a, any kind of animals. Uh, in the case is, uh, for example, um, uh, um, teacher. How do you say cargamento? Uh, uh, what you mean? What you mean specifically? For example, uh, we uh, uh, the vehicle transfer a uh, weapon. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay, because I mean, cargamento specifically, that's cargo in English, cargo. Cargo, okay. Mm. Yeah, that was uh, that was my next question. What about, uh, look, I am driving my car, I'm going to pass customs, and you know what? Uh, I always keep my, my, my gun in the, in the car, and I forgot to, to take it out. What do you do in that situation when you detect that I have my gun there? 
uh, if, if you have a, a permission, the, that's no problem. That's no problem. And because the account is, is legal. It's registered. It's registered. Can I take it but, out of the contract? Uh, repeat me, please. Yeah, but it, the gun is not going out of the country, right? Mm, teacher, uh, I don't un understand. Well, 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 continue. Tell me that later I will ask you something, but continue with the process, please. <laughs> okay, teacher. Este, we... What about if I don't have the paperwork? I don't have my license for carrying a gun. Um, in this case, uh, we have only only X-ray imaging only. Uh, the anal analyzer that image, uh, radioscopic image, uh, 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 how do you say, teacher? Eso no lo hacemos nosotros. We don't do that. We don't do that, okay? So you only, just pass a report? Yes, only, only report. Okay, perfect. Interesting, quite interesting. Thank you very much, Francisco. Thank you, Chair. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter, hello, Walter. Walter, Mauricio, are you here? Hello, Mr. Uh, I had a, a teacher, I had a problem. I have a problem in the moment. Uh, I no problem, don't worry. Night. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We will talk later, Walter. Easy, no problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Marta, hello, Marta. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, good evening Marta. Tell me, Marta, uh, what do you do in your company? Teacher. I provide technical support. Okay. And tell me, when I call you and you give me technical support, do you have to make a report for every call? Do you have to register every call you get? Um, normally, the cases is um, introduced in the platform. Okay. And what do you do when you solve a case? I mean, it's just solved, you check it out. Do you, do you follow any procedure? Yes, um, the procedure is first, I read very well the subject, the case. Um, second, I assign or assign resource for attention. Assign. Uh, assign or assign a resource for attention, depend. Um, first, I review result or I resolve the case. Okay. Um, finally, um, I update status uh, the case in the platform for close case. Just that. Perfect. Okay, just give me a second. Thank you very much, Marta. Excellent. Thank that you, was the, the procedure, right?
Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, as you can see, today we are talking about procedures and today we are going, well, actually you are going to be working with that. We are going to be explaining procedures to all of you, but we are going to go back to what we have been talking, uh, food, restaurants. Let's see, I got a question for you. Let's see who has not participated yet. Uh -huh. Hey, Nicolas, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank I'm you. I'm just fine. I'm just fine, thank you. Tell me, Nicolas, do you think it is important for restaurants to follow procedures when preparing food? Follow procedures? I'm sorry, how do you say this phrase? Follow, 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 procedures. follow. Seguir procesos. Procedimientos, pasos. Uh, I I prefer this action or the food is the question. Well, the questions actually are these. If you can see on the on the chat, the questions are these: Are procedures in a restaurant important? That's the first one. Are procedures in a restaurant important? I think yes. Is very important the process, uh, but uh, I I think I think uh, of the process are important or the the video the video are in in Spanish, in English teacher how do you say due to <laughs> due to you to uh, you to the the quality the quality in the service is 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 very important for my health okay and for example the chef a uh, he or she um Uh, they Devin have to have to prepare and clean cook prepare the, okay. the, the food in, in a clean in a clean in a clean cook okay perfect in a clean uh, kitchen. Uh, yes sorry kitchen in the in the uh, in the clean kitchen uh, okay, perfect. I'm sorry, Nicolas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just a second. Okay, guys. If you see, I'm asking Nicolas, are procedures in a restaurant important? And he's explaining to me. It's just that I wanted to model the exercise, Nicolas. Right now, I'm going to divide you in groups of three members, and you are going to ask and analyze, discuss, actually, those two questions. Are procedures in a restaurant important? And is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? All of us know that when we go to a restaurant, uh, every single restaurant, they have a different procedure in order to how, how they treat you in the moment you step inside, like they open the door, they welcome you, then they ask you how many person, they ask your preference of a table, then they take you to your table. That's a procedure, actually. And the people in restaurants, they are trained follow, following those, those steps, the procedure. What I want you to do is this. I need you to ask those questions and discuss, analyze, and get to an answer as a group, OK? Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, no, why? Is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, no, why? Okay, that's what I want you to do working in groups. Is there any question about the activity we are going to perform? No? Okay, before we do that, guys, let me get the attendance one last, one more time. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. 
Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Eh, José Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Vendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Walter. You're back. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to go to work in groups right now. Remember what you're going to do. Answer those two questions. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Those questions, if you want to check them out in your manual, in your manual, they are in page number 17, exercise one, okay? So let's jump into the groups right now. <clears throat> And what do you think about that? I, I think the, the procedures are important because uh, it's the guide to solve uh, difficult situations. Or when you have a, a procedures in the restaurant, you put a different person in the different position and it's most easy to explain. It's easier. It's easier. easier. It's easier to explain and follow the step. For... You got it? Yes. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? In a restaurant affected by procedures. Yeah, we have to talk about. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're going to talk. Let's see. You can ask, uh, let's see, Silvia, they work exactly in that area, right? About uh, okay. customers' service. Yes, we can. She's back. She's going to help us. Yeah, she will. She will take advantage of her. <laughs> yeah. Silvia, tell us, what do you think? 
our procedure in a restaurant is important? What do you think? Yes, yes I think the procedures are really important in a restaurant because we have to follow all these steps to give an excellent service to our customer. And if we don't do, if, if we, if we skip or if we don't do a, a step, everything goes down. Um, and okay, and also, own... also when you call, when you have a steps designed to, to, uh, to perform an activity, the whole procedure like set, like standardized, you ensure that no matter who performs the activity, the result is always going to be the same. So that yes. means that all customers are going to receive exactly the same attention. Yes, right? that's it. Me están pidiendo no. dos. Ah, I got you. What no, happened, teacher? I got you. Okay, guys, remember what you are going to do is this. You have to answer those two questions. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes. Nicolás said yes, because he told me that they ensured uh, that what he gets is a healthy food, right? That is clean. Now, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? La experiencia suya como cliente eh, en un restaurante se ve afectada por los procedimientos que siguen en un restaurante? Mm. No. Discuss no. it. Depende, depende. Oh, she's got depends. Okay, that's what I want you to do to analyze and discuss, to express your point of views, okay? Restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, yes, oh, when you ask for something in restaurant and they are, um, and they are not um, amable, kind, they are not kind, with you and you are asking because you are going to buy and they are not um they are not kind I, I it, for me that is really important because uh, they have to to keep the client for for the business And the other question is, is a customer experience in a restaurant affected? Yes, <laughs> for that reason, I, I, I'm saying that I don't return if the, if, so, if some. Oh, yeah. Oh, Recla reclamation, I reclamation for, for it. No, 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 it's como esperaba. Complain, complain. Complain, complain. complain. Compliant, ah, uh -huh. compliant. It's not compliant. It's not compliant. Complaint is complaint. Ah, y compliant o es lo mismo. Oh. Complaint. Oh. Com cumplimiento que como como dice. Comply, comply. comply. Ah, uh -huh. reclamo es complaint, queja. Ah, okay, con Okay. Complain. Thank you. What about you, William? What about you? Delicado. Teacher. Yes. Delicado. How much you say? Delicado. It depends. Context. Give me context, please. Ella. It's about the. The procedure is uh, in the food or restaurant is a uh, process procedures delicado for the measures and quality. 
the product. Oh, yes, but you are not saying sensitive. That's what sensitive. she means. Okay. Sensitive. Because delicado, that's delicate. But what okay. you're talking in, uh, right now, it's not delicate. You're talking about sensitive. Sensitive. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about, what do you think about the, the second question? Is the customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedure? Oh, yeah, sure. Imagine that you get to the restaurant, Fernando, and I mean, there's nobody in the entrance like guiding you where to sit. You don't know if you have to choose your own chair, your own table, or if they they are going to assign it to you. Then what about in all restaurants? I mean, they they even have allotted the time between the moment when you are seated to the moment when uh, a waiter or a waitress come and gives you the menu. I mean, do you think it's necessary for a full procedure to be set or not? Your experience is different or not when they got a procedure instead of like, just wait. Yes, of course, it's yes. necessary. I hate to, to wait a long time for the table or when I, I, I made I had a reservation and the waiter, the waiter uh, made me to spend time. Then, yes, it's important for the customers. Oh yeah, we forgot that Janita goes to places where they make reservations. How's that experience? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, teacher. It's a, a popular uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't go to, to this, to that yeah, place. Fer, to that Fernando says, places. Fernando says to the pupuserias I go, they don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, you know, Fernando, we don't have that, ex, those experiences. Yes, it's, <laughs> a, it's a fancy restaurant. Yeah, that, I that's exactly. And, and I love pupuserias. That's exactly the word, fancy, fancy restaurants. Yes. And I I'll, expert in that topic. Yeah. So tell us, Janina, how's the experience? Okay, tell me what, what, about, what about the procedure in one of the restaurants that you have visited? Why don't you share with us? Okay. A good experience or a bad experience? Either one. Um, Maybe um, in Dennis, I had a bad experience. Okay. In La Burreta, I had a good experience. In, in two places, I make a reservation, but in both in places, Burrata, in both places, uh, I I make a reservation. In 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 La Burrata was. Very nice because I, uh, I the guest teacher arrive. I I arrive at time and the waiter and the waiter is um, receiving uh, take my name and check in the list and all was okay. But in then I called for reservation and when I I forgot them again. Did it? All right. I arrived at on time and the waiter uh, searched in the list and uh, he don't found me in the list. Didn't, and didn't I find me. Didn't find me and I spent 20 minutes for a table. Then it was a terrible experience and was a noisy place in this night. And then was was horrible. Okay, that's interesting. 
then maybe I, I think in Dennis uh, the employees yes. don't respect the, the rules maybe because I know uh, sometimes ago was their restaurant but now is bad. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. What about you, Fernando? Uh, in my case, I I have bad experience too in a restaurant called in a jammy. Okay. Jammy, I when 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 I arrived is it's all okay. It's all okay when from the moment I, from the moment I, I from the moment the workers gave, gave me a, gave me a table. But when I ordered the, the, the dishes, uh, I wait, I wait uh, much time. And when the, when the food is, when the food was, Serbia, serve, and the food was served. That the food was um, cold, and the 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 taste it was um, not good. Really, that's bad. Yeah, but uh, it was um, on one occasion. In other occasion, the service was. Uh, usually, usually was a good service, but um, I don't know. To, uh, uh, some months ago, the the administration has changed, and the service was improved, and the service improved. Okay. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys, I'll let you because I need to go check one more group, okay? I will leave you right now. Okay. Okay, we are just waiting for everybody to come back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. Oh, that's why. Sir Carlos Murillo, good evening. Good evening, teacher, sorry. No problem, no problem. Just let me do something. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. I gotta 
we got some questions here that we were working on. So let's see. Uh, Roxana, tell me. I'm going to ask you the second question. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? What do you think? I think, uh, well, my thing to me, think that it is very important to have uh, the procedures, the procedure um, puntuales, definida. Okay, define. Because, uh, define, because uh, if in a situation, if you have a, a different situation in a restaurant and you receive bad uh, attention in that moment because the procedure aren't defined, maybe you don't, you didn't come back. No, you you, you will don't. come back, see? You don't. You want, you, you want. Don't, don't uh, you won't come back to the same restaurant. And maybe you say that to the, um, to the friends or family and the restaurant uh, uh, have less client for don't define the procedures. Okay, perfect. Very interesting. Let's see, let's see. Ambar, what do you think? Is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Um, I think yes, because the procedures, the restaurant depends about experienced client, for example, a, I I told my partners in some restaurants. Uh, how do you say? ¿Cómo sería cuando les quitan los platos por atender a otros clientes así como que no lo no lo dejan a uno como comer rápido eh, con su oh. tiempo, ¿verdad? Okay, what you mean is that you feel you feel this, let's see, let's see. Uh, I feel fresh. Yeah, you feel for, like they chase. For the... You feel like they chase you out. Como que la están corriendo. Exactly. Uh, for example, in, in my case, I, I feel fresh uh, for the waitress. For example, in Charlie Boy, I have a bad experience because uh, the restaurants uh, was full, but the waitress, uh, he or she go, sorry teacher, no sé cómo expresarlo in English. Tell me the idea. Uh, El, client, el mesero mesera llegó, no sirvió, pero mm, cuestión de minutos ya estaba queriendo quitarnos los platos y como presión y no dejarle al cliente que se tome su tiempo de conversar, de comer, etcétera, etcétera. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Hmm, that's interesting. Pienso, eh, pienso que es uno de los procesos que algunos restaurantes deben mejorar porque si bien es cierto, quizás quieren tener um, yeah. una gran afluencia de clientes pero no le dan la atención yeah. you, you prefer when they give you time to enjoy your food I got you thank you very much Amber sorry let's for see, el español <laughs> no problem no problem Amber gets excited let's see let's talk with Silvia Silvia tell me is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures Tell me on your own experience. What do you think? Hello, teacher. Yes. I think the, the, the experience is affected when we don't follow all the steps and we are skipping like uh, important procedures like um, confirm the order or a simple step that is very important that is to greet the customer. When we receive a customer, we have to, to greet the customer and yeah. then 
um, make our clients feel very comfortable in a restaurant or in our uh, in the place and uh, we have to, to follow all the procedures to give a good experience to, to our customers. And that's why it is important to have our staff well-trained because if we have a well-trained staff, we will get good results. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. You're Fabiola, what do you think? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? I, I think I have a bad, for example, I did not like the food. I, I didn't regresar, teacher, return. Oh. Yeah, I send it back. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I had a bad experience of over overcharging, como un sobrecargo. Oh, really? Uh-huh. For example, for example, um, oh, oh, bad procedures in the kitchen, for example, excess salt will be a bad procedure no regreso. <laughs> okay, you won't go back. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see, let's see. And I still got time for one more. Let's see, who is it going to be? Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening, welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Tell me, Carlos, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, teacher, because um, like uh, uh, I don't know say I, I don't know how say como decía Amber. Like Amber said. Okay, like Amber said. I remember I, when I was young. No. Oh, oh, more or less young. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I remember when I, 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 I am, what do you say, novice teacher. What? No, how do you say, novice? Nobly. No, novio. Oh. Cuando era con novio, con mi esposa. Okay, okay. When we were, well, actually, that's when we started going out. Okay, <laughs> when we started going out. Uh, I remember uh, sometimes we, we went to the Pollo Campero, <laughs> like uh, Ambarses. Um, they don't don't let didn't. you take a conversation in this place. Yeah. And I have to Oh and you wanted to, to you wanted to make the space time. long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I yes, got you. Yes. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Well, but but uh, I think the, the position affecting the, the the restaurants because you you don't have uh, return that's that's place you only visit one time at, uh, in the one for one time and you don't re return that yeah that you place. don't go back you don't go back yes, you don't go back okay. okay interesting thank you very much great guys uh, i was actually checking out the groups and you did pretty well you were having conversation you were discussing that's the objective of this activity now let's see next exercise we go back to the manual okay guys let's see 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got here some steps, look. And we have to number the steps a waiter follows, follows to take and serve an order. We got, first we got take customer's order, serve the food, confirm the order, greet the customer, seat the customer, handle the food correctly. We are in page number 17, exercise two. Let's see. Uh, Fabiola, tell me what's the first step for you? What's gonna be number one? Greet the customer. Okay, greet. Yes. Greet. Greet the customer. Okay, greet the customer. Number one. Okay, let's see. Number two, Walter. What do you think is number two? Number two, teacher, excuse me. Um, take the customer the order. Mm -hmm. What about this, Walter? Walter, look. First, you greet the customer, then you sit the customer. Primero lo saludan, luego lo llevan a su mesa. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you, Walter. No, it's great. It's great. I mean, you were reading. It's okay. Let's okay, see. Uh, William, tell me number three. Hi, teacher. Happy, please. Which, which is number three for you? Take the customer, confirm the order, serve the food, or handle the food correctly. Take customers. Take customers order. Okay, number three. Perfect. Let's see which is next, Francisco. Teacher, uh, give me a, a second, please, teacher. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't. Don't worry, there's Maria Alejandra here ready to help us. Maria Alejandra, tell me. Uh, confirm the order. Confirm the order. Okay. That will be number four. Silvia, you're next. Tell me, serve the food or handle the food correctly? Handle the food correctly. Okay, that would be number five. Handle the food correctly, perfect. And number six, serve the food. Excellent. So you see, these are the steps. First, greet the customer, seat the customer, take customer's order, confirm the order, handle the food correctly, and then serve the food. That's the last one. This is the order we follow to take and serve and serve an order. Perfect. Now, guys, uh, hold on. Now we got here vocabulary. Let's see. Handle. What? Which idea do we transmit with handle? What do you think is handle? Let's see, let's see, Shanira, what is it handled? I explained this word already. Shanira, oh, Shanira is connected. She is connected. Let's see, Fernando, what is to handle? Handle. 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 Take something and do the, the correct form to to uh, okay, llevar. That's scary. To carry, to carry out somewhere. Yeah, that's okay. Handle, manipular. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, I told you, it's something here. It's when you do, when you give, perhaps something 
in the hand to somebody. You are manipulating something. Okay? That's to handle. Okay. Right. okay. Then we got confirm. Everybody knows what is to confirm, right? When you make sure, that's to confirm. The next word was uh, payment. Oh, payment. Money. That's easy, no? We don't have a problem with payment. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, Walter, that's it. The money, the money. Perfect. Next one is greeting. A greeting. That's hi, hello, good morning, welcome. Those are greetings, right? And then we have notify. What is to notify? Roxana, what is that? Give a, a message. Okay. A message. Message. Mes message. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, guys, you are going to be working in groups again, but today I'm going to switch the groups. And you are going to be telling your classmates in English. I'll be passing by the groups, checking out fast that you are speaking in English. You are going to be telling your classmates in short, uh, in short sentences. A good or, or bad experience you have at a restaurant, okay? It's up to you if you want to talk about a good or bad experience you have at a restaurant. But now I'm going to switch the groups, okay? They're going to be working with somebody different. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Uh, and food uh, very good excellent my experience uh, and Walter it's, uh, it's about a bad experience in, in a restaurant right teacher yep yes that, uh, In, in your case, it was a good experience. Excuse me. Lo, lo que nos está contando fue una, una mala experiencia. No, no. Uh, no. It's very good experience. Very good experience is muy buena experiencia. Yes, an excellent. Okay, uh, Not good. very good. How, how, how do you say that me hicieron sentir? They made me feel. They made me feel uh, the claim number one in the restaurant. Okay. Yes. Yes, and attention and service, excellent. Uh, <clears throat> hace mucho tiempo. <laughs> A long while ago. A long while ago. 
a long time ago. Yes. A long yes. while ago. A long a while ago. ago. We don't we don't say a long time ago. We say uh, a long, a long while ago. Okay, I texted you. A Check it out. Long while ago. In ago. somewhere, in somewhere, I read a long time ago. It's the same, teacher. Yeah, it's the same. But uh, when you are speaking, you use more a long while ago. Okay, thank you. In a far, in a far galaxy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, a long time ago, it's not that common, you know. No one is speaking. Uh, okay, no one is speaking. Only when I hear, uh, when I write. Yeah, you can say a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yes, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Are you a Star Wars fan, Steve? Not really. Actually, I have never seen them complete. Complete. Only the, the, the old movies. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, no, it's just that not even the old ones. Okay. It's just that uh, Star Wars for me is complex to understand. It's complex to understand. Uh, the, 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 the history is, is basic. Okay, but uh, we'll return at the, at the exercise. Uh, Marcela, what about you? Um, my like experience in a restaurant um, in Puyo Campero. Uh, uh, the chicken was fruit, uh, like a little bit of uh, blood, and I don't like things like this. Like that, so I don't like much for a campero right now. The, the chicken was what was with a little blood. When the como con sangre. Oh, really? Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't like, and I can for eating. Yeah. Eh, eh, um, cuando la, la el pollo está como rojizo así, no me gusta, me, me da nervio, ya no puedo seguir comiendo. Yeah, it was raw, crudo. Raw. Raw. Raw, crudo. Raw, raw. Raw, raw. Raw, raw. Francisco, Francisco is here. Hello, Francisco. Francisco is... This, it's working. This takes to us. He's working right now. Oh, yeah, that's very interesting because he had assigned today the time I will reprogram. Thanks, guy, for telling me. Oh, no uh, in my case, I, I had a bad. Porque yo estaba... It's welcome. Huh? Teacher, okay. help, help, teacher. What's the we, help? We ah, don't teacher. understand. Okay, you are going to tell a good experience you had in a restaurant or a bad experience you had mm -hmm. in a restaurant. Experiencia buenas y malas. One, or, a, or good or bad, o buena o mala. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See, deers and and th and tank with fish, and it was a relaxing experience in family. And the restaurant is is on in Los Pinos. Uh -huh. Oh, really? The, that place is in the what the place late. Uh, it's in okay. Carretera. To Cerro Verde. On the road, on the road to. Okay, it's on the road to 
the Green Hill, digamos, Cerro Verde. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then its name is Vista Lago Restaurant. But it's it, it's uh, driving from uh, Santa Ana to uh, Cerro Verde. <laughs> Is from, it on the way? Is it on the way from Santa Ana to Cerro Verde or from Sonsonata to Cerro Verde? It's in the way from El Congo. Okay, Santa Ana to Cerro Verde. Okay. No, from, the, okay. from El Congo to, to Cerro Verde. Okay. Jose, I texted you. Okay, teacher. I. Perfect. Revise. Okay, thank you, teacher. Great, great, great. It so, sounds good, really sounds, sounds good, the place, uh, Jose. Uh, it's a good place. A uh, good experience in a restaurant? Susana. Susana. Can you hear me? You're... Hi. Can you listen? Okay. Do you have a good experience in a restaurant? Mm, at the moment, I don't remember. <laughs> and you are... Oh, it's a... It's a la... Teacher, how do you say exigente? Demanding, demanding. Dema demanding. You are demanding, Susana. Hey, Susana is... I have an, another experience in Maurita. Do, um, do you know Maurita uh, in the Mercadito? The Merlion. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, once I ordered the fish, ceviche fish, but the waitress, uh, he or she give me, Bro gave me. me. Sorry? Brought me. She brought me um, shrimp ceviche. And this time I was allergic to shrimp. Oh. Yes. Uh, that's a problem. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. And good experiences? Have you had good experience, Maria Alejandra? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me I what's... Don't have, uh, uh, when I visit a different restaurant, I listen to my friend uh, when I have experience and I decided to visit or no visit. <laughs> so you usually go to places that are recommended to you? Yeah, because I have a little problem with my menu. I don't like a uh, different food when I don't have a, cuando no las he probado. When I haven't tried them. When I haven't tried it, um, I don't have, I don't like say a uh, conejillo de India. <laughs> guinea pig. Guinea a guinea pig, pig and for the food because I complicated a lot and I meet the the food and I have idea what the server in the dishes and. Maybe like this. I only, I, I prefer only visit the restaurant when I have a idea, uh, the server or the, or the food. What's the menu? Um, what's the menu? Because I don't like to taste uh, all the food or the all the people taste a new dishes and I don't have an option. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. What about you, Sylvia? Any good experience? Sylvia. Hello, I'm sorry. No problem. 
can you tell me a good experience that you have had in a restaurant? Mm, yes, uh, a good experience that I have in a restaurant is because there were some co-workers that we decided to go to, to a restaurant. It was a big restaurant. The view was perfect to the ocean. Um, the service. Th the service. The service was, was really good because the waitress and the waiters uh, were very fast and they didn't bring us a one order. Uh, they, they brought very fast the food. The food was really delicious. And we had a we have a great time there. Okay. Oh, okay. You got you're giving me a lot of info. Tell me what's the name of the restaurant. Now you got me interested. Yes. It's Olavetos. Oh yeah, it's true. Good. Because they have a lot of years working. That's why they, they have a good service, I think. Yeah, they got a good service. I like that place. The parking is complicated when I have when have a the casa llena. I don't know. Full house. Full, Full house. house. And maybe. Oh yeah. The same happens to my to one of my two favorite restaurants. I mean, I got two favorite ones. One is uh, Al Pomodoro, and the other one is uh, El Arlequín. In Al Pomodoro, the parking is a little bit complex. But use at the hotel or no? Yeah. Uh huh. But the the parking is very. I don't like the parking when I stay in. Parallelo, I don't know. Yeah, 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 parallel. Yeah, but, but uh, the service and the food is delicious. Yeah, I like, I, I only try the Pomodoro. The other, I don't, I don't listen or I don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I love that place. It's delicious. A little bit expensive, but delicious. It's a gustito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually it is. Okay, guys, just let me check one more group. Mm. Oh my I don't know. gosh. <laughs> Poor Jensen. Teacher, how do you say? Um, <laughs> es del team. <laughs> Independiente. Independently. Independently. The cats are more independent. Say yes. what? The cat. We are... Okay. We talk, what are you we talking talk about? about... <laughs> talking about the... <laughs> okay. We were talking about yeah. a, a restaurant, a pet, fan, pet, pet friendly. Sorry. Okay. And Jancy. Uh... I, I need to know which are those not to go. You don't like a uh, pet friendly restaurant. I don't like pets when I'm eating. <laughs> yep. Unless I am eating the pet. <laughs> like a rabbit. Okay. Yeah, we used to have a rabbit. Uh, we used to have a rabbit. It was our pet. And we had it like for six months. And then it was delicious. You are a very, very dangerous the person. <laughs> then, then we had a, a raccoon also for a long while. Raton. We even raccoon. What is raccoon can have rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> and we ate, we also ate it. Tasty. Tasty, like like candy crush. Yeah, it was tasty. Nice. No sabía oh. que las personas comían mapaches. I, you can even eat neither. squirrel. Que se come la ardilla. Oh. Yeah, but I, they I, just I, got a little bit of meat. Cannibal person. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's time. <laughs> Wow.
Wow, Nicolás, believe it or not, it's time. Time flew today. Let's see, let me check. It's incredible. Hey guys, I will switch into Spanish. See, I still got people in there. Let's hold on just a few seconds. Vamos a esperar solo unos segunditos. Okay, everybody's here right now. Let's see. Perfect. Eh, perdón, pasaré el español un momento. La disculpa del caso estaba tan concentrado en los grupos viendo la actividad como hablaban. You were speaking in English que se me fue el tiempo. Disculpe. But no the good thing is this. Lo bueno es esto. All the groups that I checked were speaking in English, were practicing in English. And that's the idea. Eh, solo le voy a robar un minutito más. Eh, algo importante que debemos de estar claros es que estamos en intermedio. Eh, yo les mencionaba el día de ayer, sección 2 es larga. En esta vamos a, muchos ejercicios van a ser esto, conversation. Yo voy a estar dividiéndolos en grupos y supervisando las conversaciones, ¿ok? Trataré de medir mejor mi tiempo para que no nos pase esto de nuevo. Eh, les voy a tomar la asistencia. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Is there? Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present Marie. teacher. Thank you, Mr. María Alejandra Barrios Present. Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Eh, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Uh, Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Okay. Again, guys, I'm so sorry for the time. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Mr. Osorio, hello, how are you? I'm so tired, teacher. <laughs> okay, don't uh, worry, I won't take so, that much time from you. <laughs> tell, tell me. Uh, uh, I... Is everything okay with the classes, with the course? Do you have any comment, any doubt? Uh, everything is okay. Uh, in my case, uh, is uh, my problem is still uh, that I need to review the grammatical structure to 
to be able to express myself well, teacher. Okay, well, 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 well. The grammar structures. Gr grammar, no grammatical. Grammar. The grammar structures. Let me see, let me see. It's just that mm, the question is this. Yes, you are in the point where you can start looking at grammar, but I wouldn't advise to get too, too much into structures. The situation is this. I mean, usually, uh, they taught us that grammar is very important and it is true but something that you have to take into an account is this uh, remember how you learn Spanish first you spoke it right okay and then you went to school and they started teaching you the structures and the rules Recuérdese cómo aprendió español. Primero lo habló y después, okay. después lo entendí. fuimos a la escuela, nos dieron las reglas gramaticales y comenzamos a comprender un poquito mejor de la estructura. Y a estas alturas de nuestra vida ya no recordamos muchas de las reglas gramaticales que nos dieron, pero sí las aplicamos bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, es exactamente es, lo mismo. Ese es uno. Es exactamente lo mismo. Tenemos que hablarlo, 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 adquirir todo el vocabulario posible, eh, utilizarlo la, lo más que podamos y luego compenetrarnos en la gramática. ¿Por qué? Porque a estas alturas usted maneja bastante vocabulario. Usted en el grupo de los que tienen mucho vocabulario. Pero si a estas alturas usted se me comienza a concentrar mucho en gramática nos va a suceder un problema. Eh, me lo va a echar para atrás. Sí, porque fíjense que por el momento eh, he tenido muchas actividades que me han robado el tiempo bastante. Entonces no he logrado, digamos, que poder encontrar el balance entre ocuparme de mis cosas y darle el tiempo necesario para practicar inglés y revisarlo. Le soy sincero, me he descargado bastantes videos donde... Se explica bien el tiempo pasado, el, el pasado perfecto, pasado continuo y todo eso. Entonces yo sé que necesito bastante meterme bien en eso para poder agarrar como más seguridad al momento de expresarme. Porque a veces dudo y, y mmm, olvido los verbos conjugados a veces. Yeah, Entonces eso como que me da cierto. Eso, mire. La mejor manera para que uno no los olvide es esto, estarlos aplicando. ¿Cómo así aplicando? Ok, usted se encuentra, escoja uno o dos verbos, ¿sabe? encuentre el nuevo vocabulario, una o dos palabras, y a lo largo del día, en su mente, trate de encontrar momentos en los cuales una oración que incluye ese verbo cabe dentro de su diario vivir. Ok, como... ¿Cómo así me sucede? Como por ejemplo, vaya el día de mañana, el verbo uh, bring. A ver, ok, usted está, en, usted está en la casa, va de salir y se acuerda que tiene que pasar por el súper y usted dice, oh, I have to bring uh, toothpaste. Tengo que traer pasta dental. O sea, trate de que ese vocabulario no verlo la cuestión es esta, muchas veces nosotros nos metemos, vemos información en línea y usted ve la información, ve videos, pero a veces el vocabulario que ahí aparece no aplica a nuestra realidad. Al, Por no, aplicar general. A nuestra reali al no aplicar a nuestra realidad los ejemplos que vemos ahí, o sea, usted los vio, usted los comprendió, pero como no se aplicaron a su diario vivir, se nos van. El vocabulario se que más recordamos es el que estamos usando regularmente. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Traer ese vocabulario y meterlo en nuestro vivir, en las cosas que hacemos. He tratado de realizar algo similar a lo que usted me menciona. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, tengo que realizar una orden de trabajo para que el departamento de mecánica me revise las máquinas que están malas. Entonces trato de... de lo pienso en inglés... Y, y me ordeno las palabras. Entonces okay. ahí comienzo como que tengo una conversación conmigo mismo. Excelente. Solo que 
a estas alturas del juego yo le recomendaría usted me dijo una expresión bien compleja, larga entonces le va a pasar de que no se va a acordar de una palabra o de dos palabras ¿verdad? no sucede entonces sáltesela sáltesela no se, no se, de, no se detenga en la palabra que no encontró que, hey, ¿cómo se dice esto? ¿y cómo se dice? ¿y cómo se dice? se complica uno tanto que llega un momento que se frustra y luego ya no le logra dar el orden al, al resto sáltesela guárdela en su mente, luego la busca ok, pero en el momento que esté pensando en inglés, ya agarró el ritmo de pensar en inglés, hubo una palabra que no entendí, me la salto luego regreso a ella, pero mientras estoy pensando la idea, diciendo la oración en ese momento no me detengo ¿por qué? porque si me detengo y me concentro en la que no entendí a me bloqueo ya, el resto, sí, eso nos pasa nos bloqueamos, no sé si ya le ha sucedido Sí, porque algunas veces dije, me di por veces, ah, no, después dije yo, <ríe> voy a sí. seguir. No, Eso. También Sáltesela. entiendo que en el, en el, usted me, me aconsejó la última vez que tuvimos una sesión de estas, de que procurara hablar sin miedo, que lo que me yep. viniera a la mente, que eso dijera. Yep, yep, exactly. Ahora bien, sí. este, eh, ¿está viendo mi pantalla? Sí, lo veo a usted por el momento. Ah, sí, está oh. compartiendo, sí. Ok, va. Este es el curso, ¿verdad? Sí le aparece a ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, por lo general yo trabajo en, en el celular, pero cuando le doy la vista de escritorio lo veo así. Ok, si usted le da vista de escritorio, se viene aquí, mira, centro de ayuda. Aquí abajito donde dice centro de ayuda. Eh, veamos que me cargue... Man, estamos lentos con el internet. Sí, esta semana ha estado bien irregular el servicio. Chao, mi padre. Créame que mi computadora en teoría no está lenta. Y se supone que mi, mi paquete no es pequeño. Oh, man. Let's see if we can make it now. Ok, there we go. Centro de ayuda. Ahora sí lo vemos. Acá donde dice inglés corporativo. Sí. Ok. Se viene acá abajo. Hasta abajo. Y aquí dice recursos académicos. Oh, Grammar, no. pronunciation, vocabular, vocabulario, videoconferencias. Estamos siempre. Es parte de inglés corporativo. Esta es materia que han preparado y que nos puede servir. Ah, Grammar. eso sí está bien. Estamos en intermediate, ¿verdad? Sí. Estamos en el nivel intermediate. Acá tiene presentaciones. No sabía eso. La verdad sí. que no lo sabía. There's more, I mean, there's more resource there. Hay más recursos ahí. You can check it out. And take advantage. Sí, eso sí no lo sabía. Créame que voy a hacer lo posible por ir revisando algo al menos al día. Ok. And besides that, no solamente grammar, si usted se fija cuando tenga tiempo y lo ve ahí, no le aparece solamente grammar, le aparece speaking. Speaking. Aparecen ejercicios de varios tipos que le van a ayudar. La, son de básicas. Sí, of course. Of course, let me, let me, let me. Vámonos de nuevo, vamos a ver si todavía podemos ver. Ahí en la cartera. Sí. Sí, usted lo puede ver ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí, lo veo. Ok. Veamos, estamos en grammar. Esto era solamente grammar. Ok, si usted se viene aquí abajo, mire, dice grammar, pronunciation. Y tiene vocabulario. Ok. En pronunciation, ¿qué es lo que va a encontrar? Va a encontrar, quiere hablar sobre rhythm and intonation, sound drills o una guía de pronunciación. O si usted quiere vocabulario, acá tenemos, uff, mira. At the supermarket, containers, full preparation. Vocabulario, tenemos un montón de PDFs. Eso sobre no lo sabía, mire, porque yo, yo estaba razonando sobre eso. Y... 
Yo, yo pensaba basarme en algo similar a lo que usted me está diciendo y básicamente ahí está. Yo decía, ¿qué vocabulario necesito saber si estoy en el restaurante? Ya lo estamos abordando. ¿Qué necesito saber si estoy, por ejemplo, en el supermercado, así como lo decía? ¿Qué de vocabulario necesito si estoy en un, en un centro de servicio de algo? Entonces, por lo que veo, esto me, me va a dar bastante vocabulario. Revíselo. Y cualquier me cosa, parece revisa. No, no, está Sí, me parece bien. Y gracias por la ayuda, porque yo estaba pensando a qué canal de YouTube me tenía que pegar bien. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Pensaba. Acá, tenemos, acá tenemos todo preparado. Y cualquier okay, cosa, excelente, no lo sabía. Eh, cualquier inconveniente, me avisa, estamos para ayudarnos. Ok, este, me comprometo a la próxima semana, tal vez tener un poco más de facilidad y, y cambiar un poco, porque es. Sí, yo sé que rebuscándome lo, lo, lo logro. Yo sé que he logrado unas cosas que me, me sorprendo. Esto creo que es, no es la excepción. Es de cinco minutos, diez máximo. No le ponga más. O sea, vivimos súper estresados. Tenemos trabajo, tenemos familia. Luego tiene sus clases. Y si usted dice, uff, una hora extra. No, no le pongo una hora extra. Póngale cinco minutos. Después de cinco, diez minutos, con el ritmo que usted lleve, estudiando usted solito, Créame que lo demás, el tiempo que estudie, se va a ir en estoy cansado, estoy estresado, no entendí, se pierde. Mientras Así que usted es. le dedica 5 o 10 minutos fresquecito, concentrado, le va a aprovechar más que si pasa una hora leyendo, pero ya muy cansado. ¿Okay? O sea, saquemos el jugo sí. a unos 5 o 10 minutos sí. y va a sentir el cambio. Believe me. Ok. Le agradezco mucho. La verdad que sí, no sabía que estaba eso. La verdad no lo sabía. Pues mire, qué bueno. bueno que pudimos conectarnos ahora. A pleasure, mister. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good, uh, good night. Good night. Descanse. Buenas noches. Buenas noches.